I wanted to touch a little bit on the upcoming holidays, and I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to cover this topic as we move forward through Thanksgiving and Christmas and and New Year's because this is a challenging time for a lot of people, and so uh, you know I even I even have my own struggles with this. Um, so I want to really kind of hit home on on some of the main points that you should focus on when we're talking about the holidays. So one thing that I'm really big on during the holidays is is the mental side of things and really not allowing the holidays to become a holla month or a holla quarter. And I know a lot of people find that funny and it sounds funny on the surface, but it's so, so true and I see it all the time. So, you know, I've been doing what I do for a long time now and, and really it's a, it's a constant pattern. And, and so people oftentimes get in the habit of letting the holidays become a holla month or a holla quarter. And when you really break it down, you know, you've got Thanksgiving, you've got Christmas Eve, you've got Christmas, you've got New Year's Eve, and you've got New Year's. And so that's essentially five holidays. Some people uh, will allow Halloween to transition into Thanksgiving. And so now that's what I mean when I talk about a holla quarter. So that's so, so crucial for you guys, man. When you're talking about the holidays, you do not want the holidays to become a holla month or a holla quarter because that usually just means a constant binge on things that you know you shouldn't be eating. Um, I understand it's it's very hard to um, wrap your head around this when people are bringing things into the office all the time. You've got people bringing cookies and candy and all that nonsense into work. You've got holiday parties. You've got your own holiday events with your family members. And so when you're talking about the holidays, if you can start to wrap your head around the fact that they're really only five individual days and mentally that's how you should approach it, hopefully it'll set you up for some for much greater success moving through this time of the year. Um, you know, I want you to, I want to emphasize the fact that, you know, the holidays come around every year. So there's no reason to go in to Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's with the approach that this is the last one you're going to celebrate. And that's what a lot of people do is they're like, I, I'm going to let the holidays become an absolute free for all. And then, you know, you're talking about gaining five, seven, 10 pounds over a, a span of time that normally you wouldn't gain that amount of weight unless you're just not practicing uh, good health habits. And so, you know, when I, when I talk about the holidays, I often, I often encourage people to really break it down like that because look, at the end of the day, whatever can make you successful um, is what I want to help you with. And so, you know, obviously there's a lot of, a lot of pieces throughout the holidays that are, that are pretty important too. So one thing that I will highly emphasize is that, you know, if you're, if it's Thanksgiving or if it's Christmas day and you know a big meal's coming or you know you're going to overindulge a little bit, that's okay. You can't, you can't beat yourself up over something that you expect that's coming. You know, it's like the people that tell me all the time, you know, well, I'm going on a long vacation or I'm going on a cruise and I'm expecting to gain five pounds. I get it. You know, there's, there's ways to avoid that, but you already know in your mind, you've already told yourself mentally that I'm going to gain this amount of weight during this span of time and I'm expecting that. So what you don't want to do is allow the holidays to become a holla month or a holla quarter and then let that weight gain um, double or even triple over that span of time. So if you go into, you know, a day like a Christmas or a Thanksgiving where you know a large meal's coming, you have to prepare for that. So what I encourage you to do, um, a lot of a lot of people that I see a pattern of this often is that a lot of people will go into one of those days and they know the big meal's coming at night. They just won't eat the whole day knowing that big meal's coming at night and then they just completely binge out. So it's a double whammy. Sorry, my I got a phone call. So you've completely sabotaged your um, your you know the day because you've not only uh, chosen to have poor uh, or you've chosen to ignore the meals throughout the day, but and not had anything. So now you've taken a big hit on, on your metabolism and now you're just doubling down on the meal. So you've eat, overeaten. That's all going to be stored as fat. You're not going to burn those calories off. And now you, uh, now you've really sabotaged the day. So try to eat more of the protein stuff. 
try to really limit the sweets, guys. I can't overemphasize that. If you're going to have a little piece of dessert, fine, but but go heavier on the protein and the vegetable. Try to limit the, the large, starchy, and carbohydrate meals. Um, try to limit, you know, if you're going to pick a dessert, pick one of the ones with lower sugar. Try to avoid the pecan pie. That's one of the worst things you can possibly eat. So, um, but those are just some individual tips. I'm going to cover a lot more of this moving forward. The one, the one point I wanted to make today was not to allow the holla, holla days to become a holla month or a holla quarter. So I hope you guys got something out of this. 